Welcome to the Accu Web Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to change SSH port on CentOS 7. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting. We have mentioned our Telegram channel link in the description. Kindly click on the link and find the PDF file of this video tutorial. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. What is SSH? The full form of SSH is the secure shell. It is a network protocol used for performing secure remote logins for Linux systems using a secure channel from an unsecured network with the help of robust cryptography. SSH is a very secure protocol because it shares and sends the information in encrypted form which provides confidentiality and security of the data over an unsecured network such as Internet. By default, SSH listens on port 22. So it is good to change the default SSH port in order to add extra security, thus decreasing the risk of an automated attack. If you are owner of a Linux VPS, you probably know that in order to access it via the internet, you will need to use SSH. Although having a strong and secure password is the only cybersecurity step, one important security measure we suggest you implement is changing the SSH port. Using a non-standard port for SSH connection helps avoid automated attacks on your server. It also helps reduce the chances of it appearing on a hacker's radar and makes it a less obvious target. This will also reduce the size of the log files as it stops brute force failed login attempts directed towards the default SSH port. Let's change SSH port on CentOS 7. Step 1 is log in to the server using the root user. We have successfully logged into our server. Step 2 is take backup of current SSH configuration file. Perform the following commands to take a backup of your current SSH daemon configuration file. Check the backup file using the below command. You should see the backup file with the name of sshd underscore config with the current date and time. Step 3 is open SSH port on firewall. It is always recommended to keep the firewall service running and only allow trusted services. Before changing the SSH port, you will need to adjust your firewall to allow traffic on the new SSH port. In CentOS, the default firewall management tool is Firewall D. In this video tutorial, we will change the SSH port from 22 to 3452. To open the new port run the following commands one by one. Note, you will have to use your new SSH port in the first command instead of 3452. Step 4 is change the SSH service port. Open SSH service configuration file with your favorite text editor. In sshd underscore config file, search and comment the line that begins with port 22. Uncomment the line hash port 22, and set it to the desired port. 
but as a safety measure, first, we need to configure SSHD to listen on two ports. The default port and the desired port such that your config files have two lines as shown below. Once you confirm that the new port works fine, remove the default port setting. Before changing the check below note. Ensure that no other service is using the new port. Replace the ports accordingly. Save changes and close the file. Step 5 is restart SSHD service. Restart SSH service for the changes to take effect. Now open a new terminal and access the server using the new port by using the following command. Congratulations you have successfully logged in into the server using the new port. Now you can remove port 22 from the SSHD config file and restart the SSHD service to allow SSH only on the new port. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to change SSH port on CentOS 7. Hope. This video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have access to the PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.